Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. We all know the basics of getting a good night's sleep. It helps to have the same routine every night, including a consistent bedtime, not eating or consuming caffeine late, and keeping the bedroom cool. Like hibernating bears, we sleep better when we're cool. But what if those don't help enough? Here are some thoughts. Your sleep can improve by increasing sunlight during the day. And if you can't get enough sunlight, you might try one of those light therapy lamps. They're cheap now. They're 30 bucks or so on Amazon. At night, decrease your exposure to light from computer screens, smartphones, TVs, and tablets. There's good data that suggests that you really will improve your sleep if you do those two things. Exercise in the early evening. Right after, you'll probably feel energized, but the tiring effect will kick in a couple hours later, which should facilitate your sleeping. Again, I read this in the Harvard Medical Report. Um, clear your mind using one or more of these, like a mantra, which you say while breathing in and slowly breathing out. Any calming word will do. It doesn't need to be an official mantra. Count backwards from 100. 100, breathe in. 99, slowly breathe out. Anesthesiologists sometimes ask patients to count backwards from 100 to help them toward the sleep and anesthesia. Or picture a butterfly glide from flower to flower, perhaps across your garden. Another thing that you might do to help your sleep is to think of the good things that are coming up tomorrow as you're lying there in bed ready to go to sleep. Some people sleep better when a body part touches their partner, their dog, or even if they fall asleep while hugging a stuffed animal. Thinking positive thoughts increases the chance of having pleasant dreams, from which you're less likely to awake than from a nightmare. For example, in one study, participants who were told to think about roses as they were falling asleep were more likely to have a pleasant dream than people who were told to think about rotten eggs. But what if you wake in the middle of the night? One of the aforementioned may help you return to sleep. Sometimes it just takes a little time. But if lying there is too frustrating, get out of bed for just a bit and then get back into bed. It may just take a little more time to get back to sleep. If not, take solace in the possibility that your body is showing you you're not desperately in need of sleep. Even just lying there resting will yield some of sleep's benefits. And when your body decides it wants more sleep, it'll send you into the land of nod. And if one night you don't sleep well, your body will probably make it easier for you to sleep tomorrow. Still having sleep problems? It may be time to see your doctor who might recommend a sleep study to help pinpoint the problem. A bit about morning reverie. When you first wake, if you've got a couple of minutes to spare, allow yourself a bit of reverie to, while you're semi-awake. Muse on the coming day, especially positive thoughts, including gratitude. That can be both pleasurable and productive. We've all earned the right to some respite from the maelstrom. Perhaps one or more of the aforementioned tips will help you exercise that right. Enjoy. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.